Now then, guys, welcome to Stars Gaming. I'm Luke, and this is my Harrogate Road to Glory in Football Manager 2020. This is Season 8, Episode 2, and I want to just apologise for the abrupt end of the last episode. Um, I didn't realise until I uploaded it that the last bit of the episode didn't have any audio, and also I just clipped it off. So, apologies for that. It won't happen again. I promise. So, what have we been getting up to? We'll have a look. We're doing okay so far this season. Started off quite positive, so let's just have a look see what we've been doing. So when I say positive, we have only lost one game since you've last seen us. Obviously, last time was the first game of the season. Uh, we then have... We've, we've beat Birmingham 1-0 in the league. We drew 0-0 against Blackpool. We beat Port Vale 2-1 in the Carabao Cup to get through to the next round. Uh, we lost against Burnley 4-0. That's the first kind of big upset of the of the season so far and it was a bit of a poor game no one really was getting into it it's fine it's done and it's over it was away we then got an away point against Swansea it was 2-2 two, two. two goals from Moles to keeping us in that and then and Sheffield Wednesday was a kind of we scored and then it was a very late goal for Sheffield United to score no Sheffield Wednesday apologies for that Sheffield Wednesday to score to get the equalizing goal and it was just one of them games I just feel like neither team really deserved to win so a draw was quite fair but today, we have got Leicester City in the second round of the Carabao Cup. I wanted to show it. One, because Leicester's my team. Two, they're in the Premier League. And three, it's the second round of the Carabao Cup. If we win it, we go to the third round, which would be absolutely awesome. Then we have Derby in the league, who are third as well. So it's not going to be an easy time in the league. And we kind of end the month up quite well. Playing a lot of games in August. Uh, the league table is looking quite good so far as well. We are kind of where I want us to be. We're eleventh. I want us to kind of be in and around eighth, seventh, pushing for the uh, the playoffs a little bit this season. I feel like we've got the team to do it. Moles is so far the top goal scorer of the, of the division with four goals. It's okay. Also, we're building a gap on the relegation zone, which what with which is what the board want us to do is avoid relegation again. I don't. I want us to push for promotion, and we just need to do that. Finances wise, are still looking okay. We're just overspending on the wage budget by what 200 quid 300 quid so we we could sort that out so it's not too bad at all obviously we've, we've sold some players we've uh we've done all right did we bring any other players in since the last time you saw us i don't think we did we looked at bringing in some players we didn't a couple of players that we've bought in have gone out on loan uh mcqueen's gone out on loan to newport county it's just he's not going to get game time for us this season um especially with brie actually 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 staying at the club and not going anywhere so which is nice to see so anyway leicester carabao cup this is how we're going to be lining up against them. And I'm going to go kind of full strength because I feel like we we need to, just to go against Leicester, I feel like we, we need the win to get round to get a bit more money into us as well. So we've got Z, uh, Zinger in goal, Bree McDonald. Endhall is playing a lot of games for us this season, but I think for the Cup I'm going to start William uh, Williams. And then Hoggerton, he's done well for us so far. His potential is really good. The fact, obviously, I bought him on a free from Arsenal... And so far this season, he's played six games. He's done all right for us. So he's definitely going to be our starting left back with the potential he has. Bird is going to be the ball winning midfielder. He doesn't kind of link up with Hayes that well. Moles and Hayes, obviously, the midfield too. There for his last season. The front three, very familiar to, again, what it was last season with Pilkington, Stewart and Anthony on the left. Anthony hasn't really played much this season so far. Coming back from an injury, so it's good to see him getting into the team. Hopefully, he can start getting a couple of goals for us. Again, he had a, he improved on the, the seasons before and he's done well for us again last season. The Leicester City team, though, it's, it's a pretty decent team. I like looking at it. They've got uh, Brewster, Pratt is still there. Belavenko is still there as a Leicester City player. They've got Chamberlain as well. So they've got some, some good players. Chowdhury is still there as well as from the original Leicester squad as well. So they are a Premier League team now. They got promoted... Was it last season they got promoted? I'm pretty sure it was last season they ended up winning the league or maybe the season before that they won the league. But they're now back into the Premier League where they belong, where they right, rightfully belong. Hopefully we can join them soon. If not this season, next season. I don't think it's going to be this season, but next season is definitely going to be a, a big push for us to try and fight for the Premier League. And it's a good. this is also a big, big chance for us as well. We're going to go attacking. I've not changed anything tactics-wise. We're just going to try and play the way we normally play. There's no point changing it just for the bigger teams because it just, just doesn't work. You might as well just play your football. Try and play entertaining football. Get your shots off. Try and have a few chances and it should just work. Pilkington picks up. Stewart's in. Leighton Stewart with a chance. And 
I think he needs replacing next season. As much as we've had him on loan, his star ratings dropped down. He did have a big injury towards the end of the season. And I just think maybe he's not as good. He's probably reaching his potential of where he was. It'd be good to maybe sign. He's been a bit of a legend for his being on loan. Pilkington's in. Stewart's in there again. Last season, I'd say he would have buried them. Two chances he's had so far. and so he, he's, not, he's not scored them. So whether we start looking at maybe playing Raphael a little bit more. We've got Lopez as well. Obviously, Lopez is a little bit injured. So he's, he's not even on the bench today, unfortunately. But if we can see a better striker that can come in probably better than Stewart... Not going to be afraid of getting him. Obviously, he's not our player, Stuart. He's been around for a while. I thought that was going to be a red card then. No, instead, we give a penalty away, unfortunately. Bree gives the penalty away. Bruce is there. And obviously, Bree is not quite happy with us as well, considering he wanted to leave. No one really came in for a good bid for him, so he, he, didn't, he didn't go. But he's just being an idiot there, really, and giving away a penalty. And Ryan Brewster gets his first goal of the season, puts it into the back of the net, and we go 1-0 uh, go down. Looking at the, the ratings, Anthony's not having a great game at the uh, on the left-hand side. Tyree Shade might come on against his former club um, because he's done well for us this season. He did well in pre-season, scoring quite a few goals. He's looking a bit more promising than anyone else at left-back at the minute. I thought we only had six subs as well. We don't. I might make that change now because Anthony's not had a very good game. I'm going to be... Oh, shit, I was meant to say I'm not happy. Um I'm disappointed with your efforts aggressively. I yelled at the defence. They didn't like that. Uh, tactics. Mark Brown. Oh, no, Shade's not even on the bench. Mark Brown's going to come on then instead. I think Shade might be injured. Or I might just not even put him on the bench. I think a quick pick this team, to be honest with you. So, Leicester on the attack again. It's just a similar similar scenes to what it was in the first half. And they are, I'd say, a Premier League team. I think they're definitely favoured favourites to win this game. And I'm not adverse to actually being knocked out of the cup early on. Then we can focus on the league. I think last season we had a bit of a cup run going on. Um, it'd be nice to maybe a bit of a cup run in the FA Cup later on in the season. But the Cowboy Cup, we've, we've done our target, what they wanted us to do. So, yeah, just, let's just let us get out now and uh, we can focus on the league. Bruce is there with a shot. That really looked like that was going to curl in. But I'm going to make some changes. Stewart's going to come off. I'm going to bring on... Raphael, and then we're going to go a bit more attacking in the midfield too. Uh, then Moles isn't performing too well, so Moles is going to come off. We're going to bring on uh, Owen Haskiff. You can go as a ball winning midfielder. And then just go attacking. We'll go 4 2 3 1. We'll just see how this goes. I've made all my subs now. I'm going to demand a little bit more. It's still only 1 0, so a goal for us here can then bring it to penalties and. Like I say, if it comes to penalties, anything can anything can happen, really. But Leicester are just being so dominant. All the possession. Brewster down that left-hand side is looking quite strong. Really, Again, it's another set-piece for Leicester. Another attacking set-piece. And another chance for them. Told the team to show some passion. It's another highlight to Leicester. Can we win it and just counter on them? That's what we kind of want. Benevenko picks the ball up. Playing it around Elm. It's just this Leicester team. Look pretty decent, to be honest with you. Ball over the top. Raphael to Pilkington to Haskeef is in. It shoots. Oh, he almost gets his first goal for the club. That was better from us. Definitely better counter attacks in football. Pilkington's looking a little bit tired. We need to kind of watch that. We need him for the league. But we'll just again, we'll see how it is. We've got cover, so it's not too bad. The team is definitely getting bigger every season. We're getting a bit more depth into it. Even if the players aren't as good as what we need to be, it's good to see some, some depth into this squad. But it looks like we're going to be losing this 1-1-0. One, one, which isn't too bad. We're going to go into the Derby game, though. The league game where it's more important than probably the Carabao Cup. I probably should have rested a little bit. Maybe played the, the younger goalkeeper as well, that Jean-Luc. Say younger. He's only a year long, younger than Zinger. So, again, he's he's probably not going to get much football. But we'll, uh, we'll see how he does. We've got a late free kick. Everyone should be going up for this. Hoggerton plays it to Hayes. We're just playing it back. We're past the time. And that is it. Full time. Unfortunately... I'm going to say I can't fault your effort. It was a, It's a game we wasn't going to win. We're out of the Cowboy Cup. We've got Derby in the league next. So let's get to Derby and see how we got on in the league. So here we are then. The Derby game. I don't know whether to take Bree off and start 
Owens, which I might do, to be honest with you. So Owens is going to be starting at right back. Obviously, Zing is in goal with McDonald, Endhall, and Endhall's obviously coming in for Williams. Uh, Hogginson's still going to be playing. Moles and Hayes as the defensive midfielder. Well, not defensive midfielders, the central midfielders. Pilkington, Haskeef, Shade, and Stewart up top. Haskeef is coming in as the Ungunch, or whatever you, however you pronounce that. That's the position he wants to play. I'm going to give it a go, just to obviously... Change it up a little bit. We lost the last game. We might as well try and go a bit more attacking. Derby a third. They're playing a 4-4-2 as well. Interesting to see. So hopefully we can capitalise on this. It'd be nice to to get a get a nice win against someone that's above us in the league. That looking like they've got getting off to a good start. That could be challenging for the playoffs. Obviously it's still early game yet. It's still what I can't remember how many games we're in. We're on ten points and probably nine points actually at the end of this game. But still, it'd be nice to uh, maybe win this game. It would be good. Just to like, it just would be good. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it'd be nice to get the points just to again to progress in the league. But we are away from home. Obviously, we're still attacking. I probably should get a different tactic for when we're away from home. But we're just going to go for it. Stewart picks the ball up here from the counter attack. Stewart again. Stewart with the shot. Maybe could have passed it to Haskey from the middle there. Probably could have done a bit better, but it would do. But set piece for Derby. Zing is there. Picks the ball up out of the air which is good to see now can his distribution be good and can we get a decent attack from this ball over the top we lose it again Derby win the header and it's, again it's straight back to Derby straight coming back at us on the attack ball over to the right hand side they managed to get the crossing Hayes makes the tackle and then the goal goes in there was a bit of uh, higgle, hig, higgledy piggledy you'd say there between our players Hogginson goes for the slide misses out I don't know why to be honest, Hayes is all the way back there. The two central defenders are there. And, and just none of them managed to mark the guy that's in the in the box going for the header. And if we're not careful, we're going to get battered by um, Derby here. They're having all the possession. Maybe I just change it back down to balanced a little bit. And we'll just kind of see how we get on. Maybe just stop being attacking from home. Maybe just go a bit more balanced and just kind of work the ball and just kind of judge it from there. Might just need to start doing that a little bit instead of just stretching it at the back. We've given a penalty away, though. It's not going to be a fun episode, is it? Why did I choose this episode? But Zinger actually saves it. Getting keeps us in it. 1-0. I thought we gave another penalty away there. Endo just stopped running. You could have got to that, mate. You really could have done. It's a big season for him as well, Endo. I feel like if he doesn't have a good one, I might obviously look to replace him. He's got the potential. He just needs to do a lot better. Show some passing straight away. And there's the goal. It was coming. It really was coming. Maybe I should have played the 4-3-3. But Derby are all over us. Absolutely all over us. I'm, I'm not even afraid to make a first half substitution. And I'm tempted to go to 4-3-3. That's Keith's not having a good game. And do you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it now. I know we're halfway through a highlight. But we're going to go back. Max Bird, ball in the midfield. I'm going to make the change early on in the first half, just because I'm just not happy with the performance. It might be the formation, a bit more attacking. That's the problem they've got. I don't know. They're playing four four two, so I don't really fully understand of kind of what's going on. But they just score an absolute wonder goal. Jaden Brown, stupid goal, absolutely ridiculous goal. We don't even get. Did we see the replay or did I skip the replay? I don't know, but. I'm going to have to demand more. Tyree Shade, I started him because obviously Anthony's not doing that great and it's just not worked out for us at all. We've had two shots. We've had no possession. I expect to see a better showing from you in this second half. We're 3-0 down, just a goal or something. Again, I'm just going to go tacking now. We need to try and push to get a goal. Here we go. First highlight is going towards us, hopefully. Hopefully this is us picking up a goal. We can come out in this second half. Pilkington's in with the shot. And again, Pilkington really needs to pick his game up. Again, we managed to sign him on alone, but he might just not be good enough. Hayes picks it up to Bird, out to Stewart. Stewart, there's no one in the middle, so he just goes for the shot himself. Tyree Shade, I'm in a poor game out there on the left-hand side. Anthony's going to come on. And at this point, I'm thinking maybe just go up two up top and play like a 4-2-2. Take off. Moles is having another bad game. Why is Moles having another bad game? I think Moles is going to go up top. Well, not Moles is not going to go up top. We're going to bring on Raphael can go alongside Stewart as the... We'll go pressing forward on attack. 
and we'll just kind of see how we do from that. We've got time to go. We're going to go a bit more direct. We're going to hit the early ball, focus the play down the wings, and just see how we get on with this sort of sort of change. But it's it's not been good. It's not been a very good performance from us at all. Derby looked very strong. It's going to be the first two losses we've had in a while. And Derby just looked absolutely incredible, considering they're absolutely battering us. They're again the third in the league, but I'm not afraid to show these sort of games, the games against the top of the league. We dropped down into 14th place. We're still obviously a gap from the bottom four. I don't think we're going to be dragged into a relegation battle. I really don't. Stewart's in. Again, this is where Stewart should have scored that. Last season, he was scoring them. So it's the case of... Do we start playing Lopez instead of Stewart? Do we start playing Raphael and just see if he manages to progress with his um, performance? Stewart picks it up. Anthony's in. He has the shot. It's another save from the keeper. We're now just attacking them quite a bit, but I think Derby are just sitting back and just letting us. It's 3-0. They've won this game. They know they have. Probably looking at trying to keep the clean sheet, but Owens picks it up, whips it in. Anyone to get a goal would be nice. Just making it 3-1 just looks that little bit better. Again, Hogginson tries to go for the uh, the cross, gets the throw in. Just a consolation goal would be nice. Hogginson's in. There's no one really there. Again, pick the ball up. We're attacking now. We really are just going at them, but it's just not working. And we lose the game 3-0. We end the episode without getting a win. And I kind of, in a way, thought this was going to happen. And I'm just going to say I'm not happy with the performance. We lose. We've got a nice international break coming up, which is always a good good thing as well. Not at all, because I just want to play 14 days. How... Yeah. Five matches in a row without a win, which is not a good form, really, to have, is it? But when are we going to come back? We're probably going to come back and do the Leeds Sheffield United game. We'll probably play through September. There's not many games, only four games. We'll come back, do Leeds and Sheffield at the end of October. We'll see how we kind of do in there. Hopefully, we can pick up some results. Sheffield, bottom of the table. Preston, bottom of the table. Sunderland, bottom of the table. And Ipswich. I expect then to win at least two of these games and get some points from the away games. But that form is not good. That form was all right. But this form is more like last season's form. We need to start picking it up and just seeing how we're doing. If we just end it, just looking at the squad depth and just going kind of all positions, we can just see. We are slowly getting there with a the team that our star ratings wise doing all right. But Stewart, he just needs to start scoring for us this season. He's only scored one goal. He scored 20 for us last season. So he needs to start scoring. We need to find a way of getting his shooting boots on. Hopefully we'll find a way of doing that. So thank you again very much for watching. The, the audio is stayed recording through the whole of this episode, so, which is good. So we've got a full episode here. Again, just thank you for watching. Don't forget, if you're new, subscribe. It'd be awesome if you did. I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers by the end of the year. Would be amazing if you did that. And also check out Twitch. I am streaming three days a week, kind of days. Kind of three times a week. Tuesday nights, Thursday nights and a Sunday morning at the minute. Maybe a couple of nights later on if, if I've got time. But yeah, it's a Leicester save over on Twitch. Go and watch it if I'm, if I'm on. Come see it. Say hello and tell me you watch the YouTube channel. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe wherever you are. Take it easy and I'll see you in a bit.